What's up guys? I'm Colton Bender, catcher for the Tin Caps, also part-time barber, and I'm going to be cutting Jacob Marcy's hair today. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but this guy kind of looks like uh, like Zac Efron. So, no, do I don't. No. Right. So Jacob, tell me, how is uh, how has baseball influenced your life, and then you know, like kind of into today? Um, I mean, I think there's a lot of different ways that it has, just between. Um, like even nowadays where I have to leave home and um, just not be around familiarity and just meet new people and stuff yeah. and then at the same time just there's so many ups and downs they have to deal with and just learning how to cope with those things uh, just helps everyday life too. Sacrifice man. Mm -hmm. It's the ultimate sacrifice but a lot of good that comes from greater purpose. Meet a lot of people. Absolutely. Always Create great. new relationships. That's the best part about this game is like people are from all over the place. Like mm -hmm. Connecticut, Michigan, but then you get guys from like the DR and yeah. like Columbia. And then honestly, just like learning about how they grew up and how they lived their life, dude, it's unbelievable. It makes you realize like the struggles that we have aren't as, as big as the ones that they have to go through every day too. So. Exactly, like perspective, man. A little bit about this cut right here. We're gonna go with a low, kind of mid bald fade. Okay, so we're gonna start low and then work up and make it nice. So the, the thing about being a barber, is you gotta make it blurry. Okay, so there's no lines. So if I, if I do this line, see this line right here? Okay, you can't, you're not supposed to see it. So that, at the end, you know, the people who end up watching this can tell if I'm a good barber or not. So I have a track record. Um, I've only messed up a haircut once. So it's cut. This year? No, this was this was in college. Uh, okay. So I was giving a guy about the same haircut I am now. <laughs> sick. Thanks. <laughs> He's done this a lot, so I trust him. <laughs> and I was cutting the back, and my finger slipped <laughs> and buzzed. I gave him. I gave him a. Uh, a landing strip all the way to the top <laughs> of his head right here. <laughs> Ended up making it making do, but it's a free haircut after that. Yeah, see, you can't be moving your head like Sorry, that. Sorry, I didn't mean yeah. to. <laughs> we had an audience, I get nervous around people. <laughs> All right, Jacob, <laughs> what's your earliest memory of baseball? Get out of here, Paulie. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> um, I always remember, like, not necessarily playing. My, my parents always tell me this story. Uh, the day before my second birthday, my older brother was playing uh, t-ball, and they needed to fill in for the game. And so the coach let me play. So that was my first ever like game I played in, but obviously I don't really remember that. Yeah. Um, but I always remember growing up, my dad played like um, softball, and I just remember always being at the field <laughs> and always playing like with my brother. And I just like after games, I would love running the bases and stuff. And that's like I guess that's like my first like the earliest I can remember. Looks like we grew up the same way. Yeah. Dad did the same thing, man. Late night softball games. Mm -hmm. They're the best. I look yeah. forward to them. How old's your dad? Uh, Tough 45. Person. Yeah. Oh, he's young, man. Yeah, he's young. What about you? He's, uh, he's 58. But he used to work out all the time when he like when I was growing up, and then so he he gets his exercises by cutting wood and doing like lawn, lawn work. Yeah. And he's 57 and he's jacked. <laughs> he's more jacked than I am. So, 
I didn't get his jeans. Actually crazy if like you ask around the clubhouse, a lot of guys say how like their dads are in better shape than they are. <laughs> Got a couple hits in it tonight. Oh yeah, so that's the other thing. People Last time Bender gave me a haircut, <laughs> he goes, you're gonna get three hits today. And I went out there and I got three hits. So sometimes I just ask him to give me a haircut just <laughs> for that. <laughs> but it actually like is a known fact now, if you get a haircut from Bender, you're gonna get a couple hits in the game that night. <laughs> so we had a question recently, maybe a couple weeks ago, who had the best style. And uh, I picked this guy. And it's a good choice. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I'm still sticking to it, but I go and watch the, uh, <laughs> the video, and his shirt's inside out. <laughs> so, what the heck is that about? Tell me. I don't know, actually, I didn't know until they pointed out to me after. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, we're putting that in there. I was like, dang it. <laughs> but I actually had like, sometimes not inside out necessarily, but like today I was walking in and I thought my shirt was backwards, just like the way it felt. So I think I like do that a lot. Like I just freak out and my stuff's backwards. And I think I, I end up having it backwards a lot of the time <laughs> until I fix it. Well, I feel for you, man. Like it's, it's getting late in the season. I'm tired, man. We, we travel all the time and like you just lose stuff and I think I have an inside out white sock and a black sock on right now. <laughs> Why is your sock inside out? Because it's early in the morning and... It's dirty? <laughs> <laughs> your sock's dirty. You have a dirty sock on, that's why Dude, I gotta out. do laundry, man. Come on. Yeah, I need some grace here. Come on. So you see that right there? You get nice and close. No more line. That's good. That's good right there. That's how you make money. A lot of money. <laughs> what about the first at bat of the game? How do you feel? Ah, uh, dude, I don't know. It's like the 90th game. Yeah. So it just feels like another game, kind of. So I don't get as nervous. But like, first game of the year, Nerves are high. First home game, nerves are high. Like big moments, it still like hits me. But I think like going up there first bat of the game, just like up. Oh, let's go do this. I'm not really like thinking let's about nerves. Let's go do this thing again. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, fan Dude, this is never going away, huh? Uh, it's it's the infamous. Yeah. Ball toss, huh? Yeah. Was that the no no? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we, we were throwing a no-no, but you can tell a story. You did it. Throwing a no-hitter. I was like zoned out. I don't know. Late night, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It was probably like nine. <laughs> <laughs> Game was going quick, but throwing a no-hitter. And last out was hit and I caught it. And I flipped it up into the stands and I had no idea. I turned around and everyone was freaking out. And I was like, guys, we won a game. Like, it's not that deep. Like, I don't know why everyone's freaking out right now. And then all of a sudden, I look at the scoreboard and it says zero hits. <laughs> I just immediately knew I messed up. But, yeah, I was, I'm never letting that one down. I think that's always going to get brought up no matter where I go in life. So I thought it was over once we got the ball back. Then I had to do bender cuts, so... <laughs> How was the interaction with the kid afterwards? The kid was super cool. He, uh, he um, was very easy to reach out to, John said, and uh, very cooperative through the whole process. And then he was super cool when um, I talked to him and like I signed a bat for him. We got the pitcher to sign a ball for him. He was like super excited and he basically told us how he's going to be a lifelong fan of the Tin caps every single time now, so that's cool. That's a cool outcome of it all, but that's what it's about, man. Kids, yeah. it's not about us. It's not about me. You know, 
We're entertainers. <laughs> no, it's always, it's cool. I don't know. Kids, um, seeing them get so excited makes, even when you have bad days, it makes it, it makes it uh, worth it. All it takes is like, because I remember growing up when I was first starting baseball and I'd go to my league games, like any interaction I had with a player, it was like the best thing ever. But now looking back at it, like that's what started it for me, you know? Like that's what got me here today. It was like, man, I want to I wanna do what they do. And now that I'm here, I'm like, well, if I can impact a kid or a fan, like in any way, like that's what I realized. Like that's what it's about, you know. It's not about if I went four for four that night or, you know, what impact can you leave on somebody for the rest of their life, you know? And some of those kids don't even realize, but sometimes that like them getting so excited makes your day better too. Oh, 100%. We have a, I can't remember, I can't remember his name. Benny. Benny? That's his name, Tiny, Tiny Tin Cap. Yeah, we're in Tin Cap jersey, and he's always just so happy to say hi to us, or I hear him when I'm on deck, and he's like, come on, Marcy, you can do it. And I just like get so happy hearing him Keeps you going. every time. No, he's amazing, dude. I, he's got like the eye black on and everything. Yeah, he, it's awesome. he's got the gear on. He'll meet it, like, one, one time after the game, I met him outside, and he had like a little bag, like of, just like snacks and stuff. I'm like, dude, you didn't have to do that, but he loves us, so amazing kid. Looking good, Bender. It's looking good. We're getting there. Looks good, man. I think it's one of the best ones I've, I've done. Fender also says that every single time he cuts my hair. <laughs> you gotta uh, every make single a, one's the best one. I mean, you gotta make <laughs> you feel good, right? That's what we're here for. That's it. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Good doing business with you, sir. I'm really wondering what's gonna make it in this video and not that I said. <laughs> <laughs>